Should I have cleaned this room before I did this? Probably. Oh, we'll just tilt it this way. <laughs> oh, it's messy in here, huh? Okay. One second. Oh, there. <laughs> Clean. Good evening, sharks. Now I know what you're thinking. No. But hear me out. You've heard of tearaway pants, but what about a tearaway dress? Hello. <laughs> Okay, here we go. That's right, friends. You know, I have been in sort of a weird headspace lately and I'm working really hard to get out of it. But this week I needed to do something that I was excited about. <laughs> Originally I was thinking, you know what? It's a brand week. I'm just gonna do something nice and simple. I believe the conversation in my head went a little bit like this. Okay, everyone, um, this week, having a little bit of um, existential crisis, I think maybe we should just keep it simple, make a very hmm. simple garment. Thoughts? Mm -hmm. mm. Or we could do something really overly complicated. Huh. Yeah. So yes, we are doing something a little bit overwhelming, as I tend to do. The more I'm venturing into making clothing that I can actually wear, the more I find myself gravitating towards practical things and things that can be transformed into something else, used in a different way. Reversible things, dress that you can throw a skirt over. It takes up less space in your closet, but yet you still get two or three different, different <laughs> wearable items from one thing. So that got me thinking, what is one way that I can make a garment but also have it double or triple as something else? Transformable clothing. If you are a true millennial and or earlier, you probably have seen tearaway pants. Are they still around? I don't know. What do I look like? Someone who leaves their house? If so, I have given off the wrong impression on this channel and I apologize for that. But you know, I've also heard that Y2K fashion is making a comeback for whatever reason. Talk to me when you take the MySpace angle and scribble out your cleavage in MS Paint. So I am going to attempt to make a dress that can sort of transform and like tear away parts of it to make a different dress. Basically, I want a dress that can be a really long, floor length, skirt, big flouncy sleeves. If it comes time that I am wearing this and I am too sweaty, which is not wholly unbelievable, I want to be able to take the sleeves off, shorten the skirt, maybe make a little, you know, midriff. It's a little spicy, but I think, you know, I think we can handle it. Now I have already ordered a buttload of snap fasteners from um, the internet. I've never tried to do those and I'm not sure that I'm going to be successful in it. The entire project just lives in my head for a moderately priced rent. On paper I feel like it works but you know it's totally different when you go to actually make it so I'm not sure it's gonna work. But you know what that's pretty much um, all of my videos so we're going to take this journey together, this quest of transformation. Are you ready? So the plan of attack for this noble quest Fabric stash. Pattern. Get this shit started. Before we venture forth, this video is sponsored. And I apologize, I usually don't like to put two sponsored videos back to back, but your girl needed a mental health break last week, so. <laughs> Sorry, but it is about food, so that's good. Talk a little bit about that. Here's sponsor Rachel. Hello, from my unfinished kitchen. So today's video is sponsored by Thrive Market which I am so excited that they approached me because I've been hearing about them in podcasts and I always wanted to try. I think food-based sponsorships might just be my favorite. The Thrive Market is a membership-based online grocery store that focuses on making healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. You can shop for thousands of best-selling organic foods and natural products all below retail price. If you find a better price, they can match it, which is really nice. And I'm rhyming. I was surprised with how much stuff they had on there. It's much more than food. There is cleaning products, beauty products, pet supplies. I got tons of snacks for me and Nick. I got some condiments that I thought looked really yummy. I even got stuff for Frodo. I got shampoo for him and wipes to wipe his little paws with. I think my most favorite thing that I got these. Ooh, they're so good. You can also filter all your results by the specific diet choices that you have. For memberships, you can do monthly, which is $9.95 a month, or you can just go yearly, which is $59.95, which equals out to only $5 a month. In all honesty, I feel like it is completely worth it. I was browsing for food and for cleaning supplies, and I had a moment of like, 
this feels illegal <laughs> because of how cheap things were in comparison to at least my local grocery store. Yes, you're paying a membership, but you end up saving way more than $10 a month or $5 a month. So if you wanna check out Thrive Market, you can head to the link in my description or just thrivemarket.com slash Rachel Maxi. You can get 40% off of your first order and a free gift, and a free gift, free gift. Why can't I say that? Free gift worth $50. I'm really good at commercials, guys. Thank you so much Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. And without further ado, it's time to watch me be really, really brave. My barn has been sort of infested by bees, so. Wish me luck and I hope I don't die. Okay, what are we thinking? Oh God. This is nice. Oh no, go on, get. It's cute, but I don't know that there's enough of it. I think we gotta go Swiss dot, baby. Oh, and then, ho ho, ho ho. core is full. <laughs> this Swiss dot adorable yellow fabric. Just so I am not stressed about having enough fabric, this bed sheet for the sleeves. I think that'll add like a little bit more interest and it'll make it look like there's a blouse underneath when it's just the sleeves. You know? Let's do it. All right, friends, let's talk options fit so many unopened patterns in this baby because I keep using the same five over and over again. All right, dresses. Let's see. Option one. Okay, so I have picked these three out for different reasons. Because I like to complicate things, I might actually use all three of these. For the bodice, I think this really simple sort of pinafore top would work really well. And then honestly, even the skirt here, is the base of the dress. We add on possibly these sleeves. I don't know what's going on there. Whoa. And then I'm thinking for just this ruffle template because this, I'm hoping I can add on the bottom of this. That is the general idea. Overly complicated? Yeah, a little. Not unlike most things I choose to make, but unlike most things I choose to make, this is actually going to be pretty practical. Makes me pretty excited. So we're just gonna start laying out this pattern and start cutting that out of the yellow fabric. Here we go. So this pattern is pretty easy. It is basically just the bodice back, the bodice front. Those are both on a fold and then a circle skirt. <laughs> My voice cracked. I decided to tackle the skirt first just because I tend to gravitate towards doing the most yardage required first and then going in and using the selvage really smartly for the other pattern pieces. Nice. Using thrifted materials means you definitely have to get a bit clever with all of your selvage. So I cut out the bodice front and then slapped that bodice back on there. Sir? All right. Ooh, that's a look. So slight issue. I am currently cutting out the skirt. The front skirt, I was able to put on the fold perfectly fine. There was like two bundles of this Swiss dot fabric and I assumed they were both the same size, but it turns out the second bundle was a tiny bit smaller. So I was having a lot of trouble trying to figure out how to put it on the fold. It just like wasn't fitting. This is just a little too big for that. Now I have it laid out just one layer and I think I should be able to cut this out, flip it over, put it over there. I just really don't wanna sacrifice volume of the skirt because that's one of my favorite parts of skirts is you know, swooshability. It's not too big of a deal. We will have a seam down the center back instead of just one continuous piece, but that's fine. I don't really care that much. So I'm wondering if that means I don't have enough for the skirt to be transformed into a longer skirt. I'll try to see if maybe I can make the ruffle at the bottom out of this fabric, but I think that also might look really weird. We'll see. I'm just gonna keep going and then we'll figure it out later on the road. 
you know? Sometimes these things happen. Just gotta curse a little and move on. Let's continue. Okay, whoa. <laughs> All right, so progress made so far. I have cut out all the pieces for the kind of base dress. So I have the bodice pieces, all the facings, and all the skirt pieces, as you saw, and the pockets, my friends. You've heard of ASMR, but what about po pocket samar? Ooh. I'm going to do my best today to start sewing those darts, putting the pieces together as much as I can, just so we have a good head start on that before tomorrow, because tomorrow I think I want to focus mostly on the transformative pieces, so the ruffles, the sleeves. You don't put lettuce on a cheesecake. Life lessons with Nick. I think I am going to add a ruffle on the bottom of the skirt just because I really, really like the idea of having it like a really long skirt turned into a midi skirt. I just want to do it, so we're going to do it. So much clickety clacking going on today. So I'm going to keep going and then I will update. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What is happening? Sorry, what? I could not hear you over the volume of my skirt. The skirt pattern will be tucked away into, into my favorites folder in my brain. I might not do this today, but I do also have a waistband that I made a little bit pointed. So it'll probably look something like that because i want the bodice to be able to turn into a little crop top means i do have to make the skirt and the bodice separate which is totally fine with me it goes into my sort of practicality thing where now i have two pieces instead of one we love versatility sorry i got so angry obviously uh, a lot of work still to do on this but the pieces are there hopefully we can transformable into that kind of thing just showing the slightest bit of tum tum. Very scandalous. I'm getting pretty hungry. Is it dinner time? Mmm. Guess I'm gonna keep working until it's time to eat. Are you a human that purely survives um, thinking about their next meal or are you normal? All right, doing the boring stuff, which is like pressing the facings and stuff. And then tomorrow we can do the fun stuff. Ooh. I will see you then. Good morning. All right, are you ready to use our big brains today? <sighs> Majority of the skirt, did I already show you this? I don't remember. I just finished up doing the facing for the bodice and this is what it looks like. Ta-da! And then the zipper will be in the back. I think the base dress is gonna be really cute itself, or two-piece rather. Today, make all of the go-go gadget additions. I think I'm gonna do the sleeves first because I just want to make sure I have enough fabric for that. Probably make like a band around those gathered edges that I can then add snap fastenings and just like clip them into. Does that make sense? And then if we have enough fabric, which I'm not sure I do because this skirt is very full. The length that I would have to do the ruffle to cover all of that skirt yardage is gonna be a lot. Woo! Using all my brain cells this week, baby. No time like the present, I guess we should just get started. One step closer to finding out if this is going to be a complete failure or not. Oh, let's cut out some sleeves. These sleeves are definitely not as voluminous as uh, I tend to gravitate towards. <laughs> I like to create my own gravitational pull with the size of my sleeves. But these, I think, are a little bit more tame. <laughs> Sleeve. Very 
manageable. Probably add an elastic and ruffle at the bottom. And the nice thing about bed sheets, they generally already have a finished edge. Work smarter, not harder. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay, slight change of plan. I think I'm actually gonna keep these like that because I think this is really stinking cute. Is that a bad decision? I, I don't know. Oh God. Listen, okay, you know I love puffed sleeves, but I just think like the drape of this is really cute. Well, we can always change it later, but I think this might be a little easier for me because now all I have to do is just hem the bottom of this, add an armband here, and then do the snaps. We continue. God, I'm ready to attend a Taking Back Sunday concert, 2007. The sleeves are primed and ready. Also, put a tiny little waistband. It just goes down a tiny bit longer. Before I venture into snap fastener world, attempt to figure out how much length I would actually need to do a ruffle. Good news is that I really only have to measure half of this and then multiply it by two. This is all I have left from the bed sheet fabric, so I'm not super confident, but let's figure it out. <laughs> My brain hurts. If my calculations are correct, 20 inches here, if I want the ruffle to be 10 inches, then I have two strips here, but it's double layer, so that's four strips. Now each of these strips is 75 inches long. 75 times four is 300. The whole length of the hem of the skirt is 240 inches. So if we times that by 1.5, 360 inches. Actually, this right there, could even give me another 60 inches. We have just enough to make the ruffle 1.5 times the length of the skirt. <sighs> so now I'm gonna go in and mark off those strips that I need to cut and then sew them all together and then hem them. So I'll see you in 64 years. Here we go, you ready? So clearly we have plenty full ruffles. Oh, I can't wait to hem this all. It's gonna be so great. Ooh, I am going to turn on some podcasts and um, we're gonna get to work. Wish me luck. Oh my God. So the ruffle gathering was kind of a guesswork and I ended up having to just do a little bit of adjusting to make it actually span the length of the circle skirt. Are you ready to do some, come on, fastening? I'm hoping this is easy. Oh, I got a lot to do. I need a tool. Too bad. So you take this guy, quad foot on the bottom, goes up here on the top, and squeeze. Fold it over and hopefully sew that. So I initially put these seven inches apart. That turned out to be way too far of a distance and later on in the night I had to go in and add individual ones halfway in between. <laughs> Oops. The sleeves
these were a little bit easier where I didn't have to do as much measuring because I could just match them up to the actual bodice armhole. So between the sleeves and the bottom of the skirt, I think I ended up doing about 200 different fastenings and working till about midnight. So my hands hurt real bad and I was pretty exhausted, but I'm excited about it and it's ready for the review. It worked. What a relief. Listen, okay, it, it has its quirks. I don't know when you would want to take off this ruffle and then just like carry this thing around all day. But the fact that you could if you wanted to is pretty palpable. I also like the fact that it's a transformation from one to the other, but also all the little fixes in between you can mix and match. So if I wanted this, but with the sleeves, this top with that really long skirt, just a bunch of combinations that I could do. And this is super comfortable, even though it has snaps on it. I can feel like a little bit of cold on my legs every now and then because there are snap fastenings. Honestly, that's not too big of a deal. I don't know if I would make it through a metal detector without an explanation, but <laughs> crop top was a little bit more finicky. It's a little wonky, but like it works if it's like a really hot summer day. I decided to do hooks on the bottom and then there are eyes up here so that I could turn it inside out and hook onto it. A little finagling that I had to do, but I didn't want the snap fastenings to be visible. The sleeves themselves, the armhole band is a little bit too small for these. So there was a little bit of gaping. I did pop one of the fastenings when I bent down to get something because it's a little tiny bit too tight. Nick's not here right now, so I couldn't really do it myself. So that's something to think of if you ever wanted to try this. Just make sure that your sleeves match up with the armholes and they're not too small. You know, it was my first time doing this. I didn't want to spend more time than I already did on it. I am exhausted. This dress kind of kicked my ass, especially going in last night and adding all the snap fastenings in between the ones I already did. It took me about two hours to do and my hands are a little bruised. The things we do for fashion. Yeah, I don't, I'm super happy with it. Even with all of its quirks and snap fasteners might be my new favorite thing ever. I've opened up a can of worms, y'all. I hope that you guys had fun going on this quest of knowledge and transformation with me. Uh, my birthday's tomorrow, or if you're watching this, I guess it would be in the past, but let me 30, y'all. You know what? I'm tired of people ragging on being 30. I would not want to be younger than I am right now. I have learned so much about myself and how to interact with people. I am one step closer to being the age that I feel internally. 30's great. Don't worry about getting older, guys, okay? But yeah, I guess, you know, as a birthday present, maybe if you could just like this video. I'm trying to see still if liking a video actually makes any difference or not. And maybe share it with your snap away pant enthusiast or your house pet. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> I'm just, I'm really grateful for you guys. I'm really excited to be able to do this as a job. And it means so much to me that you're here and you're watching right now. Thank you. Thank you so much Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. Once again, if you want to head to that link in my description, thrivemarket.com slash Rachel Maxi, you can save 40% off of your first order and get a free gift that's worth $50. I did that in one take. Are you proud of me? <laughs> that is it. I love you whether you are new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload most Fridays. We have fun here. Oh, lost my balance, okay. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Are you crooked? Okay, here we go.
some of my favorite things. Blech. All right, I guess I should get up, huh? We have like um, about five trillion tadpoles right now. Blech. On one hand, it's like, you know, yay, miracle of life, but also like, ew, you're gross and I don't like looking at you. Hi, I'm down here now.